So, on my way to the sauna last night, I remembered something right after stripping. I... I don't even have a sauna. To stop embarrassing myself and my family by running around naked for no reason, I think it is time to design and build a sauna. In this first version, I will cheat a bit and not use assemblies just to get a general idea of what it is I want to build in the first place without putting too much effort into it. Later I will use assemblies to be able to create proper drawings and to be able to generate a bill of materials. Let's start by creating a sketch for the bottommost board of the barrel. We'll use the var set feature to store the diameter of the barrel which is uh, 2200 millimeters so we divide that by 2 and we get 1100 for the reference for this first board. I found these 6 meter long pine beams so I'm gonna use these as the basis to my sauna. Cutting them in half will give us a barrel length of 3 meters. The construction will be a tongue and groove type thing but the first board will be a double male sided thing. This way will avoid gathering moisture and rainwater in the ramps on the other side, like illustrated in the bad example. And that's our first board padded. Now let's create all the boards on the left side of the barrel. Create a new sketch and create another reference line with the diameter of the barrel. We'll use the value from the war set divided by 2. Then we'll attach our rectangle with the dimensions of the pine board or the beam. So now we have a small swing or a cradle here where you can add the correct dimensions and then we can just place the board correctly to be able to create the female part with the correct angle for this particular diameter. Because we will be cheating in a bit by using the polar pattern to create all the boards, I will intentionally make this fit uh, a bit bad so that the end result will be looking like multiple boards rather than one extrusion or padding. And there's the second board. Now we can uh, change the material to make it look more like wood and then use the polar pattern or array to generate the, all the boards on the left side. And here, of course, we don't want to go all the way around, but slightly less than 180 degrees, so that will end up uh, on top, like that. And then we just keep adding boards until we get a good fit. That looks pretty good. Let's go with that. Now we'll just copy the body and rotate it 180 degrees so that we have the right side boards as well. And now all we need to do is to add a double female part on top as well.
I'm adding it uh, just as an extra pad to the right board's body. Like I said before, this is a bit of a mock-up, so every single piece isn't that important. But you know what they say, the more likes on a video, the more likely it will be that there will be more parts to this series. Like so. Now we need to get some uh, end walls up. We'll create a top down sketch and uh, again just sketch the profile of the tongue and groove board. And now we can use an array pattern, twice actually. The pattern fails if the new part of the body does not connect to any existing uh, geometry. Like that, and now we just uh, increase the occurrences until it covers the whole barrel. And now we reselect the first pad of the board and uh, click on reverse direction and do the same thing. And this way we can also pad it, it in the other direction. And then we create a sketch to pocket out everything except the circle to get this side wall or end wall. It works better if you pocket symmetric the plane, not to leave half of the board. But yeah, there we go. Let's just move it closer to the ends. And we can copy it to get the other wall as well. And there we have it, complete barrel. Let's create a new sketch on one of the walls and draw something that resembles a door. I then create the new sketch on the other side and start drawing some braces and I will be going back and forth between these two sketches to make sure that they are aligning nicely. Never mind what is going on, it's just me being an idiot. Then we'll just pad it and mirror it like that. And now we can uh, readjust the door to make sure that the bracing is actually taking part of the door and part of the uh, framing around it. And yeah, we can actually adjust the bracing as well. And here I'm just creating a small slit to make it appear as a door by pocketing it right through. Yeah, 
it's pretty dark in there, so let's also cut some holes for windows. And then we'll plug it with some transparent material. We use a shape binder to make sure that the window will be realigned if we are to change the size of the hole at some point. Here I'm playing around with the material and appearance settings a bit. I'm not too sure how they work actually, so... Let's also add a big window on the back. It actually starts to look like something. I don't know what, but it's something. Let's add some simple feet to it. Again, we use the diameter variable from Farset. Two twenty seems like a dimension that I should be able to get hold of, and forty five thickness. A couple of fillets to it, and it's done. I'll also mirror it once to make one foot consist of two of these boards, and then we can clone that part couple of times and spread it under the barrel. So now I think we need some insulation to the roof and then also some kind of cover on top of that. We don't really need any shape binders here, we could just uh, draw an arc with our diameter. Since the boards are 42 millimeters, I think around half of that should be some kind of a rock wool insulation. And now for the roof, again I'm creating some shape binders for no apparent reason. Also I had some other intentions here in the beginning, so this is why I'm first uh, padding, padding the roof like this, the same way I did with the insulation. So this only over complicates things, so see this as an example of how to not do things. So again, we'll use the polar pattern two times to make it uh, go both directions. And then I'll do it once more by taking out the bottom part of this shape. Like I said, you could have done this just with one pad rather than one pad and two pockets. but. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get the polar patterns to work properly. Especially if you have uneven edges in your sketch, like I do.
I realized that if I extend the angle all the way down to the center, then I can get hold of the the polar pattern angle that I need to use to repeat this pattern. And it works just fine and again we need to do this in two directions so we need to select the pocket once more and do the same thing in the other direction like I said way too complicated way of doing this but this is what happens sometimes when you don't think things through Now we'll just hide all the things that we don't need and we should have the exterior of this prototype ready. Not too bad. If you would like to see me do the interior as well, please like and subscribe and I will consider it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.